a really interesting step. Uh, made me look around the places which I frequent, which are not many, but you know, I still, I still observe them. <laughs> uh, I still observe them with this mindset, given by the practice itself. This is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 6:41 p.m. on the 2nd April 2018, documenting step number uh, number 30 uh, from the book Steps to Knowledge by Marshall Vian Summers. So this step, this um, this step today, it's uh, called. Today I will observe my world. Uh, it's a how hourly practice kind of step. So just like the one, um, the one uh, we did yesterday. I guess this week five of steps will be all like that. I don't know yet. I haven't read them, but it uh, it might be like that. But it's an interesting one. So uh, I don't. I wouldn't mind that. Um, it's it's a really interesting this step mm, like yesterday was I will observe myself today to learn knowledge so yesterday we were observing ourselves and today we are observing our world really interesting so I, I do write something about that as well so let's uh, let's see here what I write uh, it's interesting. Yesterday practice was about observing our, ourselves, our mind and emotions which creates the world around us. And today's practice is about observing our world which is created by our mind, thoughts and emotions. Uh, this is not random but for a reason. So that we can start to understand, uh, I would rather use recognize that understand now, but yeah, so we can start to recognize uh, how our past thoughts and emotions created that in which we find ourselves. So initially this week, week number five, started with uh, us observing uh, ourselves uh, what 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 is going through throughout the day in our mind and uh, how we feel so um, and today's it's about our world so there's a real connection there because yesterday we were supposed to look at that which creates our world and today we sh we we have to look at what the thoughts that we were checking observing yesterday have created in the past like our world so that's that's really interesting it's it's a clever way to make someone um, maybe come closer to the realization to the fact that indeed uh, his world is created by his own mind thoughts and emotions so yeah that's that's really interesting and then I write our world is also defined by the people whom we choose to be of to to be a part of our life so our world is, is also defined by the people whom we choose to be a part of our life so if we observe behavior that we deem negative around us it is a reminder for us to work on that aspect of ourselves instead of judging uh, yeah I think uh, each of us chooses the people that they they uh, let them in their own lives uh, some people might 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 find that uh, to not be the case because they find that some people are like uh, they're just are in their life and they have no choice over it but Although it might seem hard sometimes, it's always a choice. Um, and I don't know how I feel like it's it's not a given that the people whom we choose in our uh, in our life uh, really define our world. I think here it depends on our own mental strength. 
like we're always influenced by um, by other people uh, suggestions be those negative or not depending on how how, how impressed we are by that uh, music is a great example here the music which we listen to influences our our lives quite a lot because it impresses it impresses ourselves and it also imp impresses the subconscious so um, which is one the same thing but uh, both have a creative power you know in in our world so um, yeah I mean uh, to a certain degree I think everybody influences in some way but if you have a certain mental strength and discipline then maybe you're not as as influenced by others or or by others uh, and here it, it it depends on how receptive someone is and stuff like that but uh, indeed what we see in other people it's something uh, we should uh, look for within us be it a positive thing or be it a negative thing like if we see somebody lying and stuff like that if we recognize that and we shouldn't go about judging and I don't know discriminating them that's just them that's what they do if you don't want that kind of people in your life then just choose not to be around him anymore but it should also serve as a reminder that if we don't like that in somebody then we should just not uh, not to do it ourselves it's a reminder for us to grow that particular portion of ourselves i guess um yeah and this is all i write for this step i mean it's not that much but it's short and uh it's to the point so um yeah i uh i think this kind of how hourly practices are really interesting and uh, really beneficial uh, I've been I've been probably doing them more often than hourly depending I mean it's yeah I should probably try to try to give more attention to the to the timing in which I do them but sometimes I do it I, I do it more frequently sometimes less I guess it depends but overall a really interesting step uh, made me look around the places which I frequent which are not many but you know I still I still observe them <laughs> uh, I still observe them with this mindset given by the practice itself so um, and it's a really interesting practice we got into for five uh, into the fifth week and I'm enjoying it so far looking forward for the next um, the next next exercises and uh, yeah this is it for today this has been Cyprian G and I thank you for being here and for watching the video and tune in for more if you liked it if you think you've learned something I mean you should yeah, learn maybe is a strong word but you can you can like understand what was going through my mind at, at the moment I did this practice and maybe you can look at yourself and see if you have some similar thoughts or not or if you want to discuss some some of these things I'm always open to but thank you so much for watching and yeah this has been Cyprian G and I'm out baby bam